Hey guys, uh, I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but we've been working hard getting this uh, hybrid all tuned up for me. So this is, if you haven't seen my last video, this is a 2014 Yamaha YZ hybrid. It has a YZ250F motor in it. So like I said, we've just been getting it tuned up. First thing that we changed on it was the A-arms. It had cross country A-arms on there. So we put the Hauser uh, MX A-arms on there and that brings us out to like our MX width. And uh, another thing that's on here, it came with the RJR uh, heel guards and foot pegs. Uh, I really like these, um, but they don't make Nerf bar. So what we did was BNR makes a custom Nerf bar that fits on these uh, heel guards and the foot peg. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the Nerf bars, like net them and put them on and everything. And while we've been adjusting this thing, uh, we've also uh, completely rebuilt the carburetor uh, we've changed all the jetting, uh, we've messed with all the shocks, got them set up for my weight and stuff, and we put a new seat pan on my seat because it kept falling off. Alright, let's see how these go on. First, I line everything up so that all of the strands are facing the correct holes. And then what you want to do is uh, you want to take the strand and go from the top all the way down to the bottom. And then you want to go through the middle and back up the top. So uh, now I'm going to repeat this uh, on all the holes. Uh, then, while I'm doing this, I'm keeping all of the strands loose until the very end, and then I'll tighten everything down. Okay, so uh, I have all the strands in there. Now all that's left to do is tighten it down and then put it on the quad. Okay, so uh, we just adjusted uh, all of the straps and a uh, thing that's important right here is to make sure that all of your lines go straight across and they're not all wonky. And then uh, to keep everything like mirrored from one to the other. And with these, you don't wanna have them uh, too loose to where they're catching or snagging on stuff. You don't want to have them too tight uh, to where you can't get to your shifter or you can't put your brake down all the way. Okay, so to put these on, I'm going to take uh, off this top motor mount and these two bolts at the foot peg. So these Nerf bars came with extra bolts uh, so that you can put them through. Right down there, uh, so now your Nerf bar doesn't move. Uh, so welcome back, guys. We just uh, we just finished installing my new Nerf bars. So big thanks to BNR for getting these made for the RJ foot pegs. These things are awesome, and uh, I can't wait to race with them. Uh, thanks to AC for actually making. There are Nerf bars and everything bolts up perfect. You can see we have a bolt uh, put in there. And guys, before we close out today, uh, we actually found the original builder of this bike, Matt Pierce, or Pierce Performance. And he actually sent me this sprocket that's specialty for this bike. It's one off and it's offset by like an inch or something just so that it, it can run with the, the quad. One more thing before you guys go, uh, I'd just like to thank you for sticking around and watching until the end of this video. Thanks to all of my sponsors, and uh, later down the road we're going to put new wheels on, uh, we're just going to get this thing set up, and hopefully I can be racing by next weekend.